As you can imagine, technique is everything. NHLiberty.org Once when I had a family member in town in New Hampshire, uh, I you know, uh, took this family member to a Free Stater event, and this person said to me, Oh, it's going to really be great to meet some of your friends. <laughs> I, said, I said, friends? What makes you think they're my friends? I said, what's going to happen here is probably you're, you're about to meet, in, in some cases, some of the most annoying people you've met in your life. Friends isn't the word I'd use, but these are the only people in the world who don't want to hurt me. Well, there's some of the only people in the world that don't want to hurt me. Even many people who claim to love me, or do love me, also want to hurt me, because they favor taking my money and using it for their favorite programs through the government. None of the free staters want to do that to me. So they don't have to be my friends. They don't have to be non-annoying. To be head and shoulders above everybody else in this very important respect. Well, when we went to the event, it turned out they people there weren't as quite as annoying as I was expecting they would be, but they were somewhat annoying. One of them kept wandering off into the into the street yelling in the, in the middle of the night. Another one was kind of trying to make, you know, physical contact with all the others. But there were some really cool people there too. And you know, even these annoying people aren't necessarily all that uncool. When you think about the fact that they don't want your money. Anyway, I was glad that I had kept expectations low on the drive over there because my family member at the end of it was saying to me, Oh, those, those people were all right. Why were you saying that they were so annoying? They, they were pretty okay. I'm just glad I didn't, you know, play up how great these people were going to be. Because the fact is, all free staters are is just a bunch of different people who don't want to hurt you and move to New Hampshire. A lot of other things, they're not going to be so hot on because they're just normal people. But, I think sometimes when normal people understand something that a lot of people don't understand, when a lot of people, when they've taken the red pill and most people haven't, it's easy to be annoying. It's easy to become a little bit evangelistic or strident. And since free staters are almost automatically in conflict with the establishment, that means, well, it's, the fact is it's very difficult to be in conflict without being annoying. Uh, there are people who can pull it off. Uh, if you think about it, I used to remember Erin Moriarty on t t CBS News. She used to work for 48 hours. Now, she did a lot of ambush interviews, and she was so smart that she could come up... I mean, when people would slam doors on her or something, she'd always have something funny to say, right? I mean, I don't know why she... <laughs> <laughs> there was a case where there's this case where uh, she was trying to interview some corrupt school politician or school bureaucrat, and she, she she he goes into this behind this door and closes it, but it doesn't lock. So she tries to open it, and you know anyway she's <laughs> she's saying, "Would you like to talk to us?" And she's she's pulling on the door, and it won't open because the guy's grabbed the handle on the other side that he's closed behind him. She, Would you like to talk to us? And she's pulling on the handle, and she says, "I." Oh, I guess not. <laughs> but she, so there's no... She wasn't being strident or annoying. That's a real art form. And I'm trying to do that. I'm not really that good at it yet. Uh, and you can, um, so you can imagine how difficult it is for someone who maybe is whipping out a camera and aiming at, the, at a bureaucrat for the first time. They're much more likely to... Well, it's, you know, it's, very, it's very easy for their, the, their, the tone of their voice to get louder and higher and squeakier and for, for their comments to be more and more strident and for their anger level to get higher and higher and indignation and righteous moral blah 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 and it, it, sometimes it doesn't look that good um, so and in that case you know if, if you, again the one thing I've learned is try to keep my mouth shut as much as I can just ask the questions I need to let them hang themselves with their answers or their refusal to answer it's just, it's very difficult to be in conflict without being annoying, and I think that's why a lot of free staters have come off a little bit annoying. Um, but, you know, you, I don't know, you've, you, you, you've got a chance to see a lot of videos about this kind of thing. So it's not a bad idea, you know, whether you're going to be running a camera on somebody or whether you're going to be at an event where you're confronting somebody or just, you know, having a conversation or whatever, just watch these videos where what, what 
you see working and what you see not working. And then practice in your head, you know, what you're going to say when you're in that situation. Run it over and over and over again until you, uh, you know, you thought it through. And when it does happen and you have that chance to make your point to an authoritarian in New Hampshire for the first time, you'll hopefully have learned from other people's mistakes, including mine. And yes, I'm one of those free staters who some people consider annoying. Happens to the best of us. Quiet demeanor, calm tone, staying, you know, not saying too much, not being strident. That goes so much further than any ideas we actually have. It's my happy duty to report to you that this edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. You cannot do this at the State House without hitting one of these guys. They're all over the place, fighting for your freedom, but they need your help. Please join them at nhliberty.org. Oh, and make that us. Join us, because I'm a member. nhliberty.org